it means a lot. I really like the title In Transit. I do have a love of life and I do appreciate life. I guess that's also what motivates me to capture what's around me before it's gone. So many of my drawings are in transit. Oh, the light died. <laughs> Hi, I'm Louise. I'm originally from London. I'm a North London girl. I first came to Hong Kong in 93 with a gallery from India that uh, gave me an exhibition here. I was here for a week and I completely fell in love with Hong Kong. Through chance encounter, I met someone who was working on the building of the new airport. I got permission to go and sketch there and that was an amazing subject. Ended up having a studio on Chet Black Cop and I ended up here a long time, 20 however many years it is. I do think living in India kind of breathes colour and three dimensions into my work. When you work in 3D, it's like bringing alive the sketches or the paintings. It made me carry on as an artist and of course Hong Kong. The MTR was very much being in the right place at the right time and the whole thing, it was a long process, it was over six years. The first I knew of the scale of the project, it was way bigger than anything I'd done. I thought it might be one relief, like the airport piece. So before I did the Sai Ying Pun project, I would walk up and down. It's all on a grid-like system, so it would be north, south, east, west. And I would capturing it from different seasons and different directions. I had so many drawings that I could incorporate and a collage, so none of them are exact scenes. Well, like the lantern shop, just before Moon Festival, all the lanterns change according, at that time, it was angry birds and cars. And that already dates it. It's already become very much of its time. I'd almost say the thing that's closest to me, the closest to the subject matter, are sketching, are pencil sketches, because it's just straight from your hand, kind of the relationship with the subject. But then the ink painting is the next step closer. Oh, the iPad is my absolute new tool. So you've got all the brushes that really you can match with the paintings. And that led to another project, Ropes and Grey, which was all done on the iPad, the entire project huge. But I imported lots of high resolution pictures of a lot of the ink paintings and then reworked them. My father was very ill when I was doing the tea shop design, so I was actually working in London in the hospital by his bed. And then I wanted to put him in the painting, so it sort of made up. I wanted to preserve him, really, sort of trying to pray that he would survive his surgery, which he did. He actually came to Hong Kong and saw the first installation, but sadly he didn't never saw the piece that he's in. You never know, you actually never know who is going to be the most influential person in your life. I have a very supportive husband, I must say, but when I first met my husband, we didn't even like each other. <laughs> Everything about my life has been quite unpredictable. As soon as I make a plan in one direction, something comes and takes me in completely the other direction. It has never been as I think. <laughs> yeah, I didn't turn out how I thought I would be. But what did I think I would be? The nicest thing someone said about my work is a, a love affair with Hong Kong. Wherever I am, I'm always aware of uh, the people around me. Sometimes maybe a bit overwhelmed, but I think I would describe myself as quite empathetic. And sometimes I'm sitting in a restaurant probably feeling guilty, having a coffee and think, oh, that poor woman pushing the rubbish up the hill and I want to draw it. And a lot of my work's quite documentary in nature. It's very much like a record of a period of time. A kind of appreciation. There's all these people that are, sort of make the city work. The new exhibition, In Transit, I really like having exhibitions in places not necessarily galleries, you know, where the public can see the work. I did the whole lobby area with everyone checking in and checking out. Everything changes so quickly, especially in Hong Kong. I always think half of Hong Kong is in transit. Everyone moving goods and produce and people with wheelie bags at the airport or in taxis or on the MTR. I mean, there's another 
side to In Transit as well, a more sinister side, kind of trying to capture a moment in time as we are all in transit. Even the light bulb just went. 